Falconeri, as in Falcon. Are you an air sign detective? Gemini, perhaps. Uh, no. Uh, no we're, we're here about your son. Oh, I don't have a son. I told you. Always wanted one, but it wasn't in my destiny. You are Karen Anderson, formerly Karen Frank of Bensonhurst? I'm Karen Anderson. If there's a Karen Frank, I don't know her. Do you know the artist named Franco? An artist named Franco? Franco who? His real name is Robert Frank. The photographer? Well, he's older than I am. How could he possibly be my son? I'm younger than I look. No, ma'am. Uh, I mean, yes, yes, ma'am, you are, I guess. Um, look, about your son... Oh, I suppose in theory it's possible to have a son and not know about it. Wouldn't that be exciting? Are you a policeman, too? I'm assisting with the investigation. I certainly wish I could help. Can we come in for a minute? Oh, you're welcome, of course. We just finished blending a soothing chai green tea. Fennel, hibiscus, and licorice root. Marvelous for the digestion. Uh, Mrs. Franco, this is a uh, oh, very... Anderson, Ms. Anderson. Miss Anderson, we really need to find your son. May I pour you some tea? No, thanks. I'd love some tea. Hmm. Uh, you know, we've done our research, uh, Miss Anderson. Uh, we know Karen Frank was a single mother who raised her son Robert in Bensonhurst. Uh, he then went, thank you. He then went to uh, prison for armed robbery, was released shortly after, rose to acclaim as the artist now known as Franco. Karen cashed out her pension, changed her name, and moved to Woodstock. Now, you know, there are plenty of reasons for people to change their name. I mean, you want to restart your life, you want to get away from something or somebody. Whatever the reasons were, are your business. We are not here to interfere with your life. We would like to know, though, if you've had any contact with your son lately. Do you believe in parallel universes? Actually, ma'am, you know, I'm having a difficult enough time with this one as it is. Somewhere, there is a Karen Anderson with a son who's an artist. And perhaps there's a detective named after a magnificent bird of prey who's trying to find her. And he's accompanied by a silent companion. But not here. Not in Woodstock. I'm sorry your trip is wasted. Well, uh, thank you for your patience. But uh, we gotta find the other. Karen Anderson is pretty urgent. Oh, I hope for her sake there's no problem with her son. Actually, her son is in trouble, and we have reason to believe that he'll come to her for help. I mean, you got to know Franco pretty good. I mean, did he mention his family ever? Uh, no, never talked about his personal life. Hmm. Even at his loft, there were no pictures of his family at all, just, just art, you know, pictures of crime scenes with dead bodies. Franco was obsessed with death, and he liked to taunt the cops and get them to go wherever he wanted them to go. He sounds like an artist. Not a very nice one. Misunderstood, perhaps. And you have no relation? You don't know anything about him? As I said, I have no children. But violence is evil energy. I hope Franco finds peace in this world. Well, thank you for the tea and uh, for hearing us out. I'm sorry. You wasted your time. Everything happens for a reason. The universe unfolds as it will, whether we see it clearly or not. Good luck with your search. Have a nice night. Well, that was a dead end. Yeah, we could check for other Karen Andersons. The officer already did. That was the only one that fit the profile. So what do we do now? Well, we're back to square one. I mean, we know Frank was here, we know he's back, we don't know where he is. Well, then we might have to wait for him to make a move after all. And then we're reacting to the guy again. I don't like that, that puts us in a vulnerable position.
So uh, what do we got so far? Well, we have three photographs of dead bodies at crime scenes. Real crimes, all unsolved, different parts of the country. Franco either committed the murders himself, or he took the pictures of the victims after they and, were and killed. And he sent three pictures to three different people. You, Maxie, who he, he used and slept with, and Jocelyn, who's only a baby. That's the one that worries me the most, Jocelyn. I mean, he already threatened her once. Broke into the Jack's house, spray painted his signature tag all over the, uh, the nursery wall, kidnapped her mother. Why send the photos? Because Franco wants us to know that he can get to Jocelyn if he doesn't get what he wants. The question is, what does he want? Well, we're not going to get anything by standing around here. Let's get back to the station. Uh, success, I hope? Karen Anderson denies being Franco's mother. I, I gave you irrefutable proof. Well, I'm just telling you, we got nothing from her. Yeah, we think Frank was back in Port Charles, but we can't be sure. I just saw him. 